Hello. When we talk about Tantra and when you hear something about Tantra, it's very often with that idea that we communicate without saying what we want. We read the other person and find out what they expect us to do. And that can be challenging. For one thing, most people wouldn't be naturally inclined to trust their sense of what the other person wants and to understand the signals that they're sending. Yes, of course, there can be fairly clear signals like your partner suddenly starting to moan when you touch a particular part of their body. And that's perfectly fine and wonderful. And that is brilliant. Keep going. You're doing the right thing. But sometimes the signals are a lot more subtle. They could just be a gentle movement or a look in their eyes or a muscle in their face that contracts or some subtle change in the skin like goosebumps or redness or something like this. And we're not necessarily attuned to see those physical changes and evaluate them correctly, let alone picking up on something that is even more subtle and that has more to do with energies flowing through the body and figuring out what that means. Now, the general explanation in those situations is to go with your gut. That, that's all fine and well, but even if your gut tells you something, you may want to consider not going on all sirens blazing, but starting very subtly and trying to work out if what you're doing actually pleases the person you're working with or if this is what they're expecting, because they will give signs of agreement or disagreement when you try doing something. So it's a, a very gentle play at first between finding out what your partner is trying to communicate, if at all, and starting to do what you think they have communicated and then reading their reactions to it. So it's kind of a seesaw movement where things get going very slowly and then move into more expressive things. As an example, you could imagine somebody has asked you to be gently touched. And after a while, you realize that either they've fallen very quiet or they're starting to get aroused in some way. If they're going very quiet, that could be one of two things. It could be either they're completely bored or they're in their own space and what you're doing is perfect. However, if they give off signs of obvious arousal, you know that you're on the right path. So that is the king's path to happiness for both of you because you know you're doing it right. If you are in the situation where your partner goes very quiet, maybe check in with them. They may not be comfortable telling you that you're doing something wrong, or they may not be ready to tell you, mm, I've had enough, let's move to something else. So it's always about communication. And the gut feeling is there to tell you that something is coming, but it doesn't tell you if what you're getting is what is actually being sent to you. So make sure to check in on occasion, but let your gut feeling inform you about the options that might be there. Learn with your partner and also learn to trust each other. But ultimately, learn to trust your gut feeling. I hope this is useful. Be well and stay well.